keeping our positions as they are. Uh, so we will start with the euro yen just to follow the sequence. This is the chart for the euro yen. And what we want to do is to find out what the euro yen value was on what date on April 9th on April 6th April 5th no actually I want this one here which is May 5th so just as a reference point I will go to my uh, euro yen just gonna make a weekly chart so I can make it easy so I want to look at May 5th May 5th Two thousand and ten. So it's pretty much around this area over here, which is we're looking at looking at the one maybe the one twenty six ninety seven. So this is the area that we're looking at. So that is the possible target. And but we have to move out of this hurdle one because if we get above this one, so let me put the daily chart so I can do the work. And you can see how magnificent this trend is on the daily chart. This is absolutely magnificent. So now we are coming towards the one this one here is 12182 this is the 119 here This is not a, it's just a support area. It's not a significant point, nor is it a structural point. So uh, we should be able to cut through it easily. This is the next one. But the big daddy, the one of them, is this high over here. And that is... see what these yellow lines are. If they're yellow then they are I haven't used them as a structure point or anything. These are just like bio. So I will pretty much remove these.
Okay. So what seems to be is that this is the 119, so we're probably going to test it a little bit here. And then upon a break, that would be the next target, which is around the 123. And of course, if we do break this high with the momentum that we will have over here, that would be extremely easy to get to the 132 level. And guys, I don't know if you remember or not, but the this area here, the 130, 150, that was the congestion area that led to the final leg to the upside. So anyway, we're looking at a move higher to go. Now, we do have a really a big range day um, but we do have a reasonable close we close the week at 118.96 the high 19 can see how beautiful that trend is so you guys that have the software if anybody is going to be trading Tokyo session you want to be buying out of the Tokyo session to the upside so I really am not encouraging anybody to short the uh, anything against the end but just so we can play it as we usually do we will be shorting it from here if, if it does come it is kind of like a structure we'll take a quick short not to overstay our welcome and our stop is going to be right there above it as a buy we will buy it from here above we can take it above this high I don't need to wait up to the all time high it's the 21 19 22 I better off taking it above the 119.30. I want to avoid the the uh, 20 level. So we will buy it the euro yen. This was the buy from last week above 115.40. We had a structure point of 117.75. So we are going to buy this one above the 119.30 now I'm going to th if this was the structure long point I will turn this my structure short point now is going to be the 117.75 and I will find another one for uh, this one and my short i'm going to short it below oh it's 117.75 yeah so my short is going to be below the intraday structure which is the 117 what happened there So my short point is the 117.75. Okay, and my stop in this case will be the 117.75 because my long point is my my short point is my structure short point and is also my stop now my buying point we're going to buy above 119.30 okay and i will look to find a structure long point which is the next one which is the 
121.82 and if I'm buying it above 30 I'm placing my stop it's going to be a little bit big I'm going to place my stop I should place it over here it's going to be big but unfortunately that's the only place I we have a big momentum so you have to have a big stop that's why I was telling you that it's important to try to capture the trend that's beginning because the more the trend moves the more volatility you get the bigger the stops that you have to use because a lot of people are taking profits and the like okay so this is the dollar yen the euro yen we're buying it above 119.30 if i do have a structure point at 121.82 and my stop is 118.60 so i'm risking about 70 pips on that trade on the short side i'm going short below 117.75 that is my structure short point and it is my stop okay and that is the euro yen let me save that